Hello friends, welcome back to new video. So this time we have a new requirement from input to output series. In this series, basically I have a multiple in input as usual. As you can see that uh, these are the my inputs. <laughs> input 1, input 2 and input 3. So input 1 is JSON, input 2 is also a JSON and input 3 is XML. And what I want to do that, I basically want to do a uh, kind of update field for example <coughs> as you can see that this is a name Ashik Manudin value is Pune and country is India so I only want to update place to Indoor so uh, normally what happened when we have a uh, this kind of requirement so we simply think what what way we are thinking we simply think that we will going to apply map object okay and map, map object we basically uh, doing like key and key and value okay and uh, in value we are going to apply if like if value is is equals to is equals to pone then value would be i and in dot else we will keep as it is value okay so normally we think like this way if value is Pune okay then we will basically mention in dot and so this is how we normally thinking that but now this time we are going to use update operator from MuleSoft so update operator is released and uh, basically uh, released uh, in um, data view version 2.3.0 and uh, if you download the latest Anypoint Studio and latest uh, Millsop 4.3 runtime, then you will get update operator. So let me do the same thing uh, from using update operator. So I just open a new tab. I just pasted uh, uh, my payload and let me do now. So I'm going to just mention update and enter. When I do update, okay, when I just write update and it basically asks for suggestion. So I just enter. So basically, so this is case is nothing but condition what condition we want to apply so i have a condition that uh, the place value is pune then i want to update to indoor so basically this is my placeholder i or it can be any variable but now i just keep this is placeholder and at after at it define the exact position what is the position which which value you do you want to update i want to update dot place okay so what you want to update? I want to update a place to, for example, directly I N D O R E. So as you can see that it's simply using update operator at placeholder place. We are going to update a, uh, this is a basically define the where you want to update. And this basically define a placeholder. For example, if I, I can use this placeholder also, I can simply add like a shake. So as you can see that the placeholder is basically giving a value. And that's why this is a placeholder but this is the actual position where you want to update so i want to update it here so what do you want to update i want to update instead of indoor i want to update pune sorry instead of pune i want to update indoor so that's how my first example is done let me show you another example uh, so for another example input 2 we have a, a kind of array and array we have a number of object and the, but now, uh, but basically in the previous example, we have an object, in the object we have a three field, but here we have a array inside the object we have a, inside the array we have a same object and having a three field. What is my requir requirement? My requirement is that I want to update the place Pune to indoor. So basically, as you can see that this one is only updated and this one should be as it is uh, what it, for example, let me copy this input to data view editor and let me open new data view editor as you can see that i have pasted what i want to update i just want to update place pune from this this only not for all so in normal cases you might be apply uh, uh, another approach but this approach we are working on update operator that's why we have done update update operator so now let me ap apply map over payload and item i want to update item for example this item and this I want to item I, I want to update. So that's why I have applied here 
update operator okay so let me so let me yeah so what you want to update i want to update a place place at at what position as you can see that i am at item label and at item label is what this is the item label and this is the item label and item label we have directly placed so that's why i'm using dot place here and what i want to update if the placeholder i'm going to use now placeholder is equals to is equals to pune then this value would be in dot otherwise it will be place only as you can see that the pune become indoor and this record is as it is that's how we have done our second requirement and lastly we have a requirement is kind of xml requirement and let me explain what we want so next xml requirement what I want let me explain uh, what is a input structure input structure as you can see that it's object and this is the value okay and inside that we have a status and um, inside the status we have a multiple status so for example status number one and status number two I want to skip I want to skip any of the status but here we have one condition what is the condition I want to skip a status where the short name is MANC and the status is NAA and oblique A so this basically this this status I want to skip and what would be the output output would be this one the this one okay and uh, and I just want to do that key my existing XML structure should not be break it should be as it is without this status so let me copy this input okay and this thing I'm going to do with update operator <laughs> okay so okay it's very simple let me first read as XML and and this would be also an XML okay so as you can see that let me just review the update operator update operator is uh, introduced in data view version 2.3.0 you have a latest mules of runtime there you can download that and so if we want to update a payload that's why I applied a update on payload <laughs> and this is define a placeholder and this is defined at what places at what would be the actual location you want to do your updates so let me start this one <coughs> okay so this is my data view as you can see that i am going to apply updates over it <laughs> where i just want to update status okay so that's why let me make a placeholder so this is a placeholder where i want to update so i have want to update at empty dot sorry at it should be at before now so i want to update dot empty dot status dot status. as you can see that i have multiple status status number one status number two that's why i have to basically iterate all status by using star okay what i want to be a next i want f condition if if capital status dot short name is equals to is equals to manc and capital status dot status name is equals to is equals to n i a then my status would be null else my status would be as it is okay so as you can see that this is the status i have just skipped <laughs> this basically just make it null let me do skip null on everywhere okay so Skip, skip null on everywhere. E E V every, W H E R E everywhere. So as you can see that we have generated expected output. I just skip this one. How? Based on the condition. So this is define of your placeholder, and this is defined at what location you want to do update. Okay, that's why this placeholder I have used here, and this is the location I'm going to do update. So as you can see that my <coughs> structure, if I show you output structure. It's not break we have everything in place just we have just skipped this one using an update operator so this is all about from my side we will meet in our next video uh, and for now please subscribe like and share my channel and we'll bye